In golf and in life, sometimes you can't control the negative. But you can still overcome it. I was arrested at 21. Uh, for a crime I didn't commit. Valentino Dixon's life took an unpredicted turn when he was arrested and wrongfully convicted of murder in his hometown of Buffalo, New York. Eight or nine witnesses came forward and the person that committed the crime came forth and confessed. All those people were disregarded. Ten months later, I went to trial with the public defender. He didn't call any of the witnesses and I was found guilty of all charges. He was sentenced to 39 years to life spending nearly three decades at the Attica Correctional Facility. You know, and as time went on, I started to realize that God had a plan for me. You know, I didn't know quite what the plan was, but, you know, God was sending me signs, man. You know, sending me signs to stay strong, focusing on the future. You know, even though, you know, I was in a six by prison cell and I was in the worst prison in America. From an early age, Valentino knew he had a gift, yet it took him seven years behind bars to reclaim it. And my uncle said, hey, if you can reclaim your talent, you can reclaim your life. You know, and he says, hey, you may have to draw yourself out of prison. And I didn't know what the hell he was talking about when he said that. For 13 years, 10 hours a day, with no days off, Valentino drew as if his life was on the line. He earned the name The Artist in Attica. And then one day, the warden asked me, say, Valentino, could you draw my favorite golf hole with 12th of Augusta? Then he brought this picture. This is the actual picture that he brought in. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow, okay, I never golfed before, but hey, I, you know, I'll try to do it for you. He found inner peace and a new love for sketching golf courses, but none of them caught his attention like Augusta National. I just became fascinated with the landscaping of Augusta golf courses. The holes are just so beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And when I look at other golf courses, there's no comparison, you know, to the dirt, the landscaping, it's just the flower scenes. It's just so much more than the golf course. But most importantly, he found hope. When you look at the photo and that sketch, what do you think about? Well, this is the start of the journey, man. You know, and... This right here saved my life. The 12 hole of Augusta saved my life because had I not started to draw on golf holes, I have no doubt that I would still be sitting in prison right now. In 2012, his artwork and his story were featured in Golf Digest. And from there on, he gained national attention. And in 2018, he was able to prove his innocence. There's no way I, I could have envisioned that things will go this way, or even that golf will be a part of my life. I'm impossible. Valentino says it feels as if he and the 12th hole are one. Well, now he lives less than 20 minutes away from the golf course he'll forever be linked to. And I'm gonna be honest with you, for the first time in my life, I had peace. Glad to have you out with us. Thanks. I came down here, it's very hospitable. You know, people are very friendly, and it was just different from New York. I always go back and I look at Nelson Mandela. He's attended one Masters tournament and has shared his story with some of the greatest golfers to ever play the game. My life purpose is to touch as many people as possible. You know, get people to understand that we can't just think about ourselves, we have to think about others.